Hey YouTube, this is Rose59 here. Uh, I thought I'd just give you guys another um, video on how to do a film positive. I had a request for it. So basically a film positive or basically what you're going to burn your image into um, and how you, ha how you have to do that. Uh, before you do that, though, there's a couple of steps that you need to know ahead of time. First of all, you got to think about what program you're going to use and what printer. Um, so I'll just give you a couple of tips on that. Uh, for me, I have Adobe Photoshop. I use that just because I've used it for other stuff, so in woodworking and um, for crafts and stuff. So for me, I really like Adobe. Um, I have tried other programs and I just couldn't get the hang of it, so I just I've never stuck with them. Um, but do a choice that whatever works best for for you. I use Photoshop in different areas, so for me it was worth worth getting it. Um, there's also uh, other software you can get that's free. There's also GIMP and Inkscape, I believe it is. Uh, those are free softwares that you can download. I will put the links below um, on on the YouTube. You also got to think about what type of printer. Uh, for me, I got a printer because I do photography also. Um, so for me, I wanted something that I could print pictures that turned out really, really well. Um, I just had a standard HP printer before, and it didn't it didn't really do anything. Um, so I got an HP um, was here off Office Gen. It's called 7500A wide format um, all in one printer. I got uh, for me. I really like it because it allows me to do so many things um, with it, with different wide formats of printing. I also use that for woodworking, for doing shapes and stuff uh, that I'm uh, cutting out with wood. Um, but get a printer that suits you. I was told um, at a print screen printing place that HP is not the best, um, but for me, I have printed lots of t-shirts on, on the films, and it's worked great for me. Uh, they're just saying with, I guess, Epson printers that they're a lot better because of the black ink. I guess they have a mu much blacker ink in them, so they really um, go well. But for me, um, the black was really good. Um, on one one of these that I printed for a t-shirt, ink was getting low. Um, I didn't notice it until I got halfway down. But it's easy to fix. I just took a permanent marker and filled in the areas. And when I went to go burn it, and after I washed it on my screen, it was perfect. So there is little ways you can get around that on fixing that. So it's basically all the tips and stuff that you need uh, to pair, prepare yourself for um, actually making a film. And you also, of course, need to get your film. I'll put a link below on what type of film. I didn't get anything heavy to expensive. I just got one because um, I wasn't sure what type of film. Um, I got a free sample from one of my screen printing places that I went to. Um, you can always ask, you know, you could always ask that you're interested in them but you're not sure if yours will take it or not. Do you guys have a sample? And um, I got a sample and I found out which one that worked the best for me. Um, basically, just so you know when you do use one, there is a sticky side, um, like, well, they call it a shiny side and non shiny side. I basically lick my little, I just lick my finger just a little bit on one of the corners, and if it's sticky, then I know that side has to go down, um, because that's not gonna. Is it? Can't remember now, I think it's. Yeah, the side that, sorry, the side that is sticky, getting myself confused here, the side that is sticky is the side that you want to put your printer page down to so when the ink comes down over it's actually gonna soak into it. Uh, mine's not waterproof you can get waterproof ones depending on which company uh, the supplier that I went for they didn't have it um, but I just make sure I take care of it when I'm done using them I make sure it's in the folder. So let's get started and I'll show you guys uh, from start to finish and I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Hi YouTube, I hope you can uh, see everything here on the screen. I'm just going to basically show you uh, what you have to do. Uh, for me, I just basically did 8.5 by 11, uh, just for my paper size, so when I'm printing it and everything, because I print in Photoshop, uh, so that it works. So basically what I did is I basically put these little crosses, you can say, um, or plus signs, uh, in each corner. Um, the reason I did that is it helps me, especially in the middle here, helps me to line it up on my pla palette um, that later on I'll show you how to do. 
on how to line it up and everything. So basically, I just kind of put these three in line so that they're all basically in line and all square so it's easy to line up. So basically, I just made a template, and then once I made a template after I did, I just saved it, and then every time I just reuse it the same way uh, for landscape, uh, depending on which way you want to do it, um, or portrait. But for me, I mostly use this way sometimes, sometimes I use the other way, but it just worked. And I just did a center line down the middle so I could line up my plus lines so I could just have it exactly. They're a little bit off on some of them, but by the time you line it up, it, it works pretty good. So basically, once you've got this as a starter point, basically the next thing is just to add in your image. So basically, I'm just going to add in here what I wanted to, one of my t-shirts that I did here. So I'm just turning on everything I had. This is a one color step that I did. So basically, when you've got everything that you need to do, you just matter printing it. And for that case, because I'm doing a one color, so this is everything that I need to have. So all you need to do then is just go to file, print on your computer, and as it just loads up here, it'll give you some information. You're like, whoa! Um, sometimes it can be overwhelming for some people, but you just got to make sure your printer's all the right printer set up. How many copies you want? You just want one. Center the image, and this sometimes people play with. I don't. I like to leave mine to height at 11 and width at eight and a half. The reason for that is because if you start scaling it down, what can happen then is basically when you print it, you think, oh, that was not the right size. And sometimes I have done that and it's just a test it on one t-shirt and you can tell the difference the way it printed. So I just make sure I keep everything, everything the same and I make sure my units are in inches. Um, sometimes your background box can be checked um, I just don't have it checked off or anything like that. Um, and then basically you just hit print when you're ready to go. And when you print, you will get a film positive looking like this. So you can see, I know it's kind of hard because I've got this here. But this is basically how it turns it turns out. And all you need to do, you can even buy these um, if you didn't want to spend it at a screen printing place, which, which I first started off with, which is Staples. Staples carry these for your overheads, um, and it just works just as well. I find with these, because uh, they're much clearer, they don't have any um, bumps in it. It's almost like a milky, um, kind of see-through-y kind of look it has to it. And that's basically all you need to do for making a film positive. It's a matter of how you want your design on your computer and what to do. Now, let's say if you did want to make this, for instance, a two-color one. I'll show you one, the one that I did before here, that was a two-color one. And that was this one. So this one, I wanted my letters to be in black, and then I wanted my line to be in gold. So basically what I did is you print one film positive with your, I'll show you here, let me just grab it, with welcome. It has on this country, okay? And then you just print off with your line, okay? So you keep your marks and everything all the same like what I'm talking about is just right here you want to keep these all the same all you're doing is just either taking away your line and you're adding it back so one would be like this then your next one would be just come over here and then you just got to take away your words just got to click here so you take away your words and you take away these and then that becomes just one image so when you're printing you have two sheets, and when you put them together, that equals one shirt. Okay. So the other thing, tip that I just remembered here. Sorry about this, guys. Uh, one thing also that's really handy to have is you want to print off a sheet like this first that has everything on it and once. Once you print off one of these, I'm going to show you in just a minute how to put it on your palette and to line it up. The reason why I'm saying it is because these are your center marks right here from bottom to top here. I guess this would be your top to your bottom. Um, this would be your sheet that you have that you're going to put on your palette. Once you have that, you line it up with your screen, then you basically can put it like this on your screen, on your palette, to kind of line it up 
where your marks are so that you can line it up exactly where your other line is so that when you burn your image then you leave this on and you come back and you see it so that's why it's important to have this for your palette I will be doing another vi a video on that sometime um, to show you how your registration lining up um, onto that but I just want to give you a little brief review video on this because I did have requests on this how to make your film positive and that's pretty much all the steps that it is it's more just buying the product and uh, just buying the product and knowing which program you want to use um, there's nothing really fancy on here it's just kind of more on on what product and how you do it for me this is design and playing around with Photoshop what image you want another key thing is it has to be done in black okay you cannot leave you know if you wanted um, Lord of Lords to be in gold let's say you print it in gold well you can't put it in gold on the screen it has to be in black so that is a really really good point to know that everything has to be in black you can play around with the colors I've done that before you can play around with your colors to see what colors you want um, so for instance if you wanted uh, let me see here so if you wanted to play around with your your colors here bring the screen up you'll get let's put it here in the corner so you can see you can you can play with your colors so if you want to see what colors is going to look on a shirt I've done that before to play around to see what it is but when I print it you have to print it all in black that is the key point um, that it is like I said, I use HP. I've had no problem with it. Um, but if you're doing it as a profession, I recommend to buying a proper printer if you're going to be doing this all the time. For me, it's just a hobby I do. So for me, I did a printer that allowed me to do um, other things that I was that I'm going to be using it for. Uh, so for me, it was money well spent because I'm doing it for different things. So if you're using it for different things, think about in the future what you're going to be using it for. Because um, sometimes these printers can cost a lot of money for good quality stuff. So you just want to make sure that uh, you think about all your uh, all your ideas that you're going to be doing or whatnot. So basically, that is the steps on how to print a film positive. Um, once again, it's just picking your artwork on the computer, making sure that it's in black and nice and clear. And then when you go to the printer, just make sure you've got all your settings uh, formatted correctly. Each system or each program is a little bit different so I can't say exactly how it's gonna go that's why I just kinda did a little short run through through Photoshop um, but that's kinda really the steps on how to do a film positive and once it's basically basically printed out onto this it's no different than an eight and a half eleven piece of paper here it's really no different the only difference is it's clear uh, so that's that's really all the difference that it is you just gotta make sure on what side it is um, different different companies have a different thing like I said for me I just lick a little bit on my finger and just just test it to see which side is sticky and which side is sticky I just make sure that's on the top side down for me it's sticky side is down because my printer sticky side down because my printer rolls up like this and then it comes through and then it prints on top so for me I have to make sure my sticky stuff is down so it depends on how your printer comes out you have to think about all those ideas and what you want to do what you want to do so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this makes sense to you guys um, but like I said it's pretty simple it's instead of using an eight and a half by eleven piece of paper you're just using it on a clear film and once you have yours on a clear film you are ready for the next step to start burning your image so hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed it.